Well, um, uh, did you still want to talk? You want to have that talk now? Um, I... Okay. Shall um, I best get over with? Right. Well, um, then let's do that. Um, you want to talk in here, or did you want to go somewhere else? In here's fine, just back in the corner or something. Sorry, Red. All right. Oh, no. Sure, sure, good. Excuse us. You know that I've been pursuing feedback, eh? Mm -hmm. I'm just desperately looking for whatever it is I'm doing wrong or how I betrayed the department's trust at this point. Because if that's the case, no one's told me. And I'm sort of floundering in the dark. Let's see. Um, I, I can guarantee you that you have not betrayed the department's trust in any way. Um, department has uh, a trust in you completely. I, I, there are no complaints other than the, the few that you received personally. Um, there hasn't been anything else that's been unsaid as far as I know. Um, so what am I doing so wrong? Well, I don't know if you're doing anything so wrong. Um, Let me see what that bell is. And the bell, the bell can wait. It's. I mean, it's probably a pointless conversation, anyways. I don't think it would be pointless. All right, we'll go check though. All right, we'll, we'll look at the tip line, and if it's moonshine, we'll come right back here. Bye. This is moonshine. Just moonshine. Um, <clears throat> it's not a pointless conversation. All right. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm the most helpful person to ask. I I will do my best, but as far as things that you do wrong, the only real thing, in my opinion, um, is your... Uh... uh hmm. Uh, eagerness, I guess, or, or in some ways passion, which is not a bad thing at all. It doesn't make you a bad deputy in any sense of the imagination. Um, it just it seems um, in stressful situations, uh, sometimes it can get the better of you, or um, at certain times where I would say that something happens and you're flying through the doors, slamming your, your the doors open in the office or running to your horse with reckless abandon, uh, a little bit too over eager. And I think um, that from, from my perspective, you could serve to um, calm yourself down a little bit in that sense. But that alone, I don't think is enough that would uh, withhold you from being promoted. I think that's something that um, over time, I mean, the more experience you get, the more time you have doing this, the more calm you'll get, the more used to things you'll get. I don't think that's a major problem. So I just have to uh, make my best guess when it comes to everybody else. Um, I know that a couple months back, uh, your name was tossed in the hat to be promoted. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, some folks spoke out in favor. Some folks said, you know, just a little bit more time was needed. And uh, since then, um, I mean, I don't think there have really been issues. 
Um, if I can do my best to recall things back then, the the problems were relating to um, well, I um, don't know if I do remember. Uh, I'll see if I can actually check. There might still be something written up about it. I know the first month I was deputy, I had two approach me about putting my name in and I told him flatly that though I was willing to step in the position I didn't feel that I was ready because I was a green deputy then I know the last report we had about you was you know when McGregor talked to you about riding off alone which that whole ordeal seemed like there was some miscommunication anyhow Yeah, unfortunately, there ain't nothing for me to go off of here. To... Any opinions that folks had, uh, one way or the other, would have been uh, stricken from the record. I think, honestly, the last time that your name was thrown in two months ago, it was just bad timing because it was right as there was some confusion about, um, you know, the... Cause it would have been uh, so no one even put April. my name for it this last time last month um i would say very few folks got nominated very few folks got promoted obviously and i think that um as it just gets to the point where i feel like i'm <laughs> working as hard as i possibly can and i'm trying to do everything right and either it's not being seen or it isn't enough. So everything that's asked of me, I volunteered for things that pe other people don't want to do. <laughs> I'm constantly teaching the green deputies. Yeah, I mean, there are very few that work as much as you do. Um, we have a few folks that are uh, relentless, uh, you being one of them. And, um, I mean, you've never done anything that I would say would be um, a poor demonstration. I mean, you've been nothing but a spectacular deputy, um, a fantastic deputy. And I think that, um, I mean, we do a terrible job of recognizing and acknowledging everybody else. Um, for doing things like that. Um, I don't know, we're all cut up and busy all the goddamn time, and not to make excuses, but um, when it comes to being promoted and being a senior, I think that, I don't know, um, you went through your time of coming around and asking folks, like, hey, what do I got to do? And at that time... Um, folks thought about it came up with ideas suggestions i think for you at least a little bit here and there told you what to do and that's when your name got thrown in and then um i mean last month simply just uh i don't know um forgotten or folks just got used to being a deputy whatever it may be if, if you want to again you know throw your name in there um for next month because we on, on a monthly basis is when we do things oh yeah I'd say that, you know, it, <clears throat> we have a lot going on right now. We do still need leadership, and we need folks that are willing to put, um, I mean, time and effort into making this department function and stable and um, serving deputies, serving each other. Right now, there's a shortage of that. We, we are up to our eyeballs with work, and we ain't really looking after each other as well as we should. So, um, I don't know, I, 
I, I think that you would make a good senior deputy as well. I mean, my, my personal belief is that um, these things that I mentioned with you will be solved with experience. And I think that you've had lots of experience already. Um, but I think that um, at next month, if, if I can put your name in, if I can go around and talk to other seniors and get more feedback, um, I, I can figure it out. But as it stands right now, I'm a little bit in the dark on what the other problems are, so I, I can't really give you a full, fine, you know, detailed answer that you're looking for. Um, but I will say that folks who are uh, keeping their head down and doing work and doing good work like you do are typically the ones that we recognize and the ones that get promoted. Um, you know, um, it shouldn't be too long, I don't think, for you, but it, clearly you got other things going on right now as well, right? So. Not really anymore. So. You don't really look like you had a, a great day. Uh, is this because of the things that happened earlier today or is when you say you don't have things going on anymore is that referring to, to Boyd pretty much he let me know that I, he was not just friends with Dusk anymore last night I see I begged him to tell me multiple times that said you don't have an obligation to me just be honest with me <laughs> I suppose he was eventually I'm uh, terribly sorry to hear that it doesn't matter at least I saw his true colours so not to say he's necessarily not to say he's going to make a bad lawman or anything like that just it would have never worked out if that's the way he behaves, so that's a good thing in the end. Just that's still painful. I think I don't want it to be. Hmm. <laughs> I thought I could go enjoy the barrel races today, but he took dust him. So I just laughed. pretty much the only thing that did on a regular basis. I'll get over it eventually though. A few days I'll be right as rain. Connor, thank you so much for the raid. Look, yeah. I, I, I don't know what it is that motivates people to do the things they do or why Boyd made any choices that he made, but I mean, what you did for him, how you helped him become a lawman, uh, you stood up for him, stuck your neck out for him. I still believe that was the right decision. It wasn't just because he was interested in me. <laughs> you did right by him. And you should be proud of that. And uh, he didn't want to return you the same service, the same favor. And at least he did you the, the courtesy of letting you know sooner rather than later. I uh, to a degree, I suppose. I'm, uh... It's just hard when you have fears and suspicions and you hold them back out of respect for another person and they're proven correct. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, if it's not, I mean, it don't have to be a few days to be right as rain. I'm, These things take however long they take. Well, it will be, because all I have to do now is work. So I'll just do that. I was honestly truly grateful that he provided you something other than work. Another distraction. Sort of, for a while. But pretty much as soon as he got the badge, he stopped making an effort to be with me. I should have seen it coming. I just kept telling him I understood the draws of the badge and that understood if it took a while for him to get into a routine. <laughs> it hurts when you do the right thing and get punished for. Some things just aren't meant to be, and I should be glad that I got shown that sooner rather than later. Thankfully, yeah. he doesn't seem too broken up about it. <laughs> so, I shouldn't be either. I'm at least, um, <clears throat> you know, here as uh, uh, whatever it is that I am uh, to offer, you know, um, the same offer that I had before. If you need to just go out and, you know, go hunting or something, if you don't want to go alone, you, you can always write to me and ask me to go with you. I'm here to make sure our deputies take care of themselves because uh, so often we all try to take care of everybody else that we don't do that, so... My offer would always stay, of course, um, you know, regardless of the situation or circumstances. I, I do appreciate it. I just can't help but feel you've got so many obligations, so many people that year meeting with that I'm just a bother, and I try not to be that for anyone. Because I can take care of myself, and I have been for a long time. Well... I would also encourage you to, um, if your focus is now going to be on work and if your concern is with getting a promotion, um, I would say when I'm around, um, I would want you to try to shadow me and just see what it is that I do and what I deal with. And um, oh. we can just talk about, you know, what I think a senior deputy does or should do and what my expectations are and. Um, I try to get you, I, I guess, uh, we'll work you up to it, um, for whatever there may be that is lacking. Maybe we'll find it through, uh, discussing, uh, just through spending time together. I don't, I don't know. Um, if I'm on duty and you see me around, feel free to tag along and, uh, we'll see if that helps in any way. All right. But, um. For now, I, I I don't know if you need some rest or um, there's some food. Have you eaten today? I I finally ate when, when you just saw me high on the way back over here. Okay. Well, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, Hopefully you have some some idea of whether or not working is going to help you or hurt you right now. Um, for me, if I need a distraction, I work. That's um, what I want, is a distraction. And that's why I will just work. Folks always remind me that distracting is not dealing. And that you don't make progress by distracting yourself, but... I don't know how to deal with most things, so I don't know how to give advice in that respect. 
That just makes two of us. Um, I heard from some people that talking with Dr. Michael Sullivan is a helpful endeavor. Um, I know that uh, it's been recommended that I send more deputies his way, deputies that struggle with things. So um, if that's something the, mm. that you'd be at all interested in, I would look into that. Maybe. At least talk to somebody who knows how to talk to people. I mean, rather than me no, stumbling I, uh... over my words. And... Michael and I were very, very, very good friends. Were. I didn't give him enough of my time. Hmm. I was too busy. I know how that goes. Is there uh, anything else I could try to help with right now? No, that's it. I mean, I've dumped on you way more than you really should have to deal with, in all honesty, and I apologize for that. No, it's, uh, it's all right. Um, I do truly care about every deputy that we have in the department here. I would much prefer that I spend my time trying to help one of y'all than going out there riding around and fielding complaints from upset criminals who were <laughs> feeling like they're mistreated or something. Well, sometimes they are. That's another thing that makes it hard is when I see other senior deputies that seem to delight in causing other people pain. How are we ever supposed to have reform if you just muck them when they're already down? It's beyond me. It makes me so angry, and there's nothing I can do about it. You know, when we take cattlemen to be executed at the chair, people were mocking him the entire way. That sickened me. Not to say that I don't believe that some people need to be removed from society, but I don't think that's a moment of victory. That's a moment where we've all lost. I was with someone the other day, we were going to go get Jonathan Redding out of Sisuke. And they wanted to tag along just because he hated them, just to make him miserable after he'd been convicted for murder and his father who abused him horribly his entire life growing up and abandoned him. Well, um, <clears throat> I hope you know that I agree with you in all these regards here. Unfortunately, I'm just one voice out of many. No, I, I'm just... I'm sorry, I'm just sharing my frustration. But I do support the way that you view things. That's how I view things, too. And I don't think it's right that we have any deputies, senior or otherwise, that would set that kind of example. Uh, I mean, even seen sheriffs. Uh, Malone couldn't control himself today. I mean, we all have bad days, but there are some that do it every day and every opportunity they get. Bye. Why? You're not wrong. If I were the only one in charge of the department, I'm sure that it'd look a whole lot different, but folks <sighs> assure me that we need both sides of thinking in order to cover all our bases, and maybe they're right, but at the very least know that I support, you know, what you stand for, and hopefully we can set a better example. That's all, Sheriff. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Well, I'll be around for a little bit yet if uh, anything comes up. Or are you planning to work or are you planning to go try to rest for a bit? Because you do look a little tired. I'm, I'm planning to work and if anyone will have me. Okay. If I'm just pushed out of everything, then I'll probably go to bed. But... Alright, well, as long as you want to work, you can work. Um... If you need to be quiet and keep to yourself, I won't feel offended or anything. You do what you need to do. Um, I'm going to go check the tip line see if I there's an update on those. I need to see if there's anything happening with that. 